Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tim Petey and welcome to episode one of a brand new Let's Play that if you saw the Almost Daily Vlog that preceded this, you know exactly what I'm playing. And if you looked up right above me, you also know exactly what I'm playing. You're playing Bioshock 1 because I read Bioshock Rapture and finished it yesterday as of this recording. So let's, um, let's get right into Bioshock. You guys ready? You guys ready? I'm gonna snap my fingers. We're gonna be in the game. You ready? You ready? You ready? Let's go. Oh, there we go. In the game. Let's go new game. Um, let's try a medium. Hopefully it'll work. Uh, it should. I got a little bit into the game. I beat the first chapter again. Uh, just because... It was... Because I was... Uh, I hadn't decided to do the Let's Play yet, but also just so I could test it out and make sure it worked. I'm getting Starburst while I play. And I'm drinking water. Because I'm going to be doing this for a couple hours. Tonight. 1960, when radios were the best form of entertainment around, and as cops. They told me, son, you're special. Damn right I'm special. You were born to do great things. Damn right. You know what? They were right. Oh no, what happened? Ah! I have no idea. I'm going to try to keep it spoiler free. I already did the game. Uh, with the Bioshock. Infinitely better than Bioshock 2. Another, another part of the reason I'm playing this now is because I'm looking forward to Bioshock Infinite later this year. Uh, I'd love to play that. Um, probably not a Let's Play, maybe. But, uh, just in preparation. Wow, I can handle this game at 60 frames a second. Record it for 60. Maybe I should swim up instead of just floating here. Okay, now this is weird. How is the plane just hitting the water now? That always confused me. Like, he must have gotten thrown. Alright, let's start swimming. Push. It's all flames. Swim for the tail. The tail will save us. Oh shit, that blew up. Now the fire's spreading for the tail. They're actually spreading? No, it's just... What the hell is this lighthouse thingy? I don't know. Let's swim over to it. I love how that's kicking up water, but it's actually not moving. Like, it, it's not even sinking. It's a nice start. I know I, I'm too old to... I mean, I shouldn't admit... 21 years old, and I'm still eating candy like a 10-year-old. Fuck it. Red and pink starbursts are too good. I'm a pretty moon. Now, I'm sure there's an invisible wall. I'm not gonna test it. I still remember back in the day... God, I feel old when I say that. When this game came out... Oh my god, who closed the door? Hide me. Light. No gods or kings, only man. I'm Andrew Ryan, and I have a lazy eye. Actually, it doesn't look lazy, it just looks like his left eye is like looking at the door, and the right eye is just sort of staring off into space. Kind of like Mad Eye Moody. Oh, that reference will piss General Lots off a lot. Why was it. When I fell, it was like. Loud metallic thud. This art. Industry and science. Science! Ah, oh, nice music. Alright, I'm gonna be quiet for this part. This is really awesome. Well, actually, while you drift down before the screen can run. Um, suffice to say that when I, I still remember playing this game for the first time, how awesome this was. And reading the book now, how much uh, significance this scene has coming up. Alright, so I'll just be quiet for now. And he can't. Fire at your fingertips! Incinerate! Plasmids by Ryan Industries. Now I'll switch for I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No. 
says the man in Washington. It belongs to the poor. No, Stop says the man well. in the Vatican. It belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow. It belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. The artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your city as well. All right, so this is Rapture, the underwater city. This fucking blew everyone away when it came out. And it's actually really interesting in the book, people get blown away by this idea too. I mean, it's a city under the water. Some very obnoxious Irish accent. Um, I will say one thing. Um, the image I had in my head of Ryan throughout the entire book... Because I actually hadn't played this game for a long time before I read the book. Uh, I'm only playing it after. Um, I remembered his character model in the game, and I always thought of that. I never thought of that picture. I feel like that that picture didn't really connect with his character model, the way they designed it in the game. Uh, and his voice, I don't know, I just... I don't know, it's weird. Even though I played the game, I still had this, oh, like, my own voice in my head. Of what it all sounded like. Just odd. Alright, please do not turn off the machine. so hot. That's pretty fucked up. Is it someone new? And it jumps up and sparkle, sparkle. That, why are there sparks in here when he's trying to slice through metal with little metal hooks on the outside? I don't know. How is he strong enough to punch hole to cause it to have holes with wires, but not actually strong enough to get in? So then he jumps down. I'm bored now. Would you kindly take off that shortwave radio? Whee! I'm bored. All right, I'll pick up I don't know how you survived that plane crash, but I've never been one to question Providence. I'm Atlas, and I aim to keep you alive. Now keep on moving. We're gonna have to get you to higher ground. Although what higher ground is under fucking water, I don't know. Take a now, and step out of the I won't leave you twisting in the wind. We're gonna need to draw around a height, but you're gonna have to trust me. Now, I wonder what happened to that guy's body. That's actually never something I never thought of before. I guess it was too much work to just leave a floating body. Can't open anything yet. There's a Vita chamber. Now, it's so cool to just look, although you can really see the age of the graphics. I mean, look at that far building. That's just a fucking matte painting. But the closer stuff is actual models, and it looks really cool. Anyway, let's move on. It's also really cool to just look up out there. It's... One thing I will say, the great chain is guided by our hands. Now, I will say one thing that the book does not convey is that I forgot that I had forgotten is really how immense Rapture is. Rapture is huge for an underwater city especially. Just a bit more. Oh shit. How do you like that, oh thank god. Thank you little bot thingy that was trapped in the wall. Would you kindly find a crowbar or something? 
crowbar. Is a crowbar related to uh Splices. Fucking splices. Alright. Oh shit, that's my one. Oh crap. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Ah butt fire! That's actually interesting. It actually fell differently this time than when I went up when I was play playing it yesterday. It actually fell the other way, that's so funny. Didn't even touch it. Call the cops on me! Oh shit. What are you doing, buddy? Oh! Boom! Punch the pig. Fucking face! Fucking die! So that's kind of annoying about this game is you can't use Eve hypos. It's your mana. You can't use Eve hypos uh, on your own. You actually have to wait, which is kind of disappointing. Because I actually checked the controls, you can only heal. Fuck you, Rapture. Plasmids. Open? Open plasmids? So you open plasmids by punching them, and pieces fly out. Even though it's a liquid, mechanical things fly out. Makes sense. Um, what's this? Big red glowing thing? Why not just inject myself with that? That sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Oh! Uh, 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 Oh shit, I'm gonna throw myself over here because I always hurt so much. Why you would... I don't know. I'll be quiet because this is a cool little scene here. This little fish looks like he just had his cherry popped. Wonder if he's still got some Adam on Daddy, what? What are you talking about? Oh shit. Look, Mr. Bubbles, it's an angel. I can see light coming from his belly. Wait a minute, he's still breathing. It's alright. I know he'll be an angel soon. Creepy. You all right, boy? First time plasma is a real kick from a mule. But there's nothing like a fistful of lightning now, is there? How do I get out of here? Now here's a question about big daddies. Oh shit. What the hell is why is it Oh god, part of the plane decided to sink right on top of me. I mean, it's funny, you could actually just stand here forever. I don't think it'll actually kill you, but... Oh no, the crack is spreading. Watch this. Whoa, that's gonna burst. It's gonna burst. The fish are flumping. Flap, flumping. You hypo. What? The cat actually bleeds, but it's like frozen solid? Wow. It's kind of messed up. I don't want to be resurrected, damn it. Uh, well, Might have missed that the first time. Oh, yeah, the, the, lightning, the lightning wrench combo is amazing in the beginning of the game. Just zap. Please. I go. First aid. Smash. See, look at this. My Eve is low if you look in the top left, but I can't regenerate it. I have to. Shit. So now, re equip it. Stab. Now I'm good again. Tell me, tell Lion I'm sorry. No, I won't do it again. No, please, please, don't do that. The whole thing will go. 
I wonder if that guy's still... Yep. Now, I, I, I actually looked at this when I played the other day. This character is not an important character in the book. There's a lot of people in the books who are named... Wait. This is happening before at none. Why aren't you here? Why is it today and not then when you were warm and sweet? Why can't mommy hold you to her breast and feel your what, tears? Why is there baby? Oh shit! Get for coming at you, bitch. You get glitched. Plasma's changed everything. They destroyed our bodies, our minds. We couldn't handle it. Best friends butchering one another. Baby strangled in cribs. Yeesh. The whole city went to hell. Like, um, now that Atlas is done talking. Here's an interesting thing. The, the hats, these hats and such, and the masks and everything, and the, the New Year 1959, that's actually an event from the book where they actually go through that New Year's party. It happens in the book. We don't like beer around here. Last time, I warned you. Why would I stand up? I could just. Brenda! <laughs> ah, shit, I thought I was Charlie! Charlie, where are you going? Where are you no, going, Charlie? Charlie! Charlie. Charlie! Well, you're punching me. Oh, shit. You said drop to bitch. Got some ammo. Money. You got the cash register with the money. Oh, look, they're in the water. Zap! Let's grab not some cigarettes. More cigarettes. Chief Hypo! Hell yeah, I'll do that now. But yeah, this party actually is uh, an event from the book. It's just cool to have new meaning, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. First one of these. Another New Year's. Another night alone. I'm out and you're stuck in Festus. Working. Huh. Imagine my surprise. Oh, I guess I'll have another drink. <laughs> Here's a toast to Diane McClintock. Silliest girl in Rapture. Silly enough to fall in love with Andrew Ryan. <laughs> Silly Okay, here's something. Look at that. You see how fucked up that is? Look, see how fucked up her face is and her arms and everything? They actually go into that in the book. Uh, Adam, too much Adam usage does that. Wow, that's just me. What the fuck was that? I never actually saw that before. I, I know. Well, I know what it is, but um, it's interesting to see. 
actually has a phone line? They actually never mentioned that in the... I mean, it makes sense, obviously. Oh, yeah. I'm too spliced up. I'm too spliced up. Now nobody's gonna want me. Yeah, basically, because you're fucking hideous. Yeah, here we go. Hey, Brenda. You care to tell me why you've had a hole in the wall the size of the rock coming out of your clabber in about three weeks now? Now, I ain't saying I'm Shakespeare. I'm trying to run a respectable theater. I got working folk coming in from Port Neptune trying to catch on. All I can think about is a stink coming out of your shitter. Get it fixed. Hopefully you guys heard that. I really hope you guys can hear those. I'm gonna probably play with the audio when I edit Careful this. Careful now. Would you kindly lower that weapon for a minute? You think that's a child down there? Don't be fooled. She's a little sister now. Somebody went and turned a sweet baby girl into a monster. Whatever you thought about right and wrong on the surface, well that don't count for much down in Rapture. Those little sisters, they carry Adam. The genetic material that keeps the wheels of rapture turning. Everybody wants it, everybody needs it. I don't care how many times I play this game or anything like that, little sisters are creepy. <laughs> For a variety of reasons, some of which only a very select few, few people would get. Hey look, what's that up there that wasn't there before? What's the red light gonna do? Oh shit. He's pissed. Oh crap. You're fucked, buddy. Oh shit, he threw a chair at you. Well, way to have the bullets not really come out of the right spot. Oh, that hurts. Oh shit, you're grilled, motherfucker. Oh crap. Owie. Oh shit. Please don't kill me. So fucking It's like the only time you have to break something like that. Of course. Yeah, I forgot to do this last time. We can actually come back in. Man, that guy looks fucked up. Now he's even more fucked up. Work out some anger. Yeah. Keep the shit out of dead guy. Damn. I feel so tough. <laughs> I know it's around the Oh, hi! That. Oh, stupid leadhead splicers. A little bit tough, tougher than the regular motherfuckers. What? Why can't I pick up her pistol? Or even. What the. Where did her pistol go? All good questions of the Oh yeah. And fall down. Honeys. What you got, big daddy? Money and eat. Money. Got the money. Oh shit, I fell. Oh crap. See, that's the problem. I didn't. Okay, so there's Neptune's bounty. I'm not gonna go near there yet for a reason you guys will see. Or I can walk through the wall. Just in case. Oh, what I always do in games, if you're healed up, you might as well just. Why is this toilet all fucking bloody and shit? So much blood in Rapture, man. What the hell? Why is Rapture gotta be all bloody? Bloody hell. Hey, there's Neptune Bay, let's go. Swoop! Oh! Ah. Sorry. Just gotta wait a little bit. Oh, look, some splices. They're gonna hop down to kill me and. I love how the, the guy's still in that animation. There's so much health stuff now. Let me get their stuff really quick because. 
I didn't mean to play that shit. I pressed, I pressed the T key instead of the F key to heal. Oh look, there's more splices. Why don't you just... I don't know what the hell that lag was there, but let's just hop down to the... Whoa, what? Where the fuck did... Oh shit, flamethrower turret. And I can't reach it, because if I could reach it, I could do things to it that would make it easier. I could hack it. I mean, for those of you who don't know, you can hack stuff in this, which I'll be able to do very shortly, and I'll do it all the time. Oh look, let's just go through. Oh, not, not again. Oh Christ, you're trapped. I'm gonna try to override the exit from here. Always. So tell me, friend, which one of the bitches sent you? The KGB wolf or the CIA jackal? Here's the news. Rapture isn't some sunken ship for you to plunder. And Andrew Ryan isn't a giddy socialite who can be slapped around by government muscle. And with that, farewell. Or does Lavania journey? Mm -hmm. I'm really crumbled. Oh shit. Oh crap. They're uh... They're trying to get in. This needs to open. Please? Uh... Oh, go, 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 go! Turn it! Yeah, we did it, yeah! Probably gonna end the first episode, uh, once we get into medical. Medic. Medical. Medic Shahin. Medic Shahin. Oh my god, I can't believe I just said that. Man, I just can't stop. Once you start eating candy, you're dumb. You can't stop. Now you've met Andrew Ryan, the bloody king of Rapture. All right, guys, and with that, quick save. Boom, boom, boom. All right, guys, there ends episode one of Let's Play Bioshock. Hope you enjoyed it. We met Andrew Ryan. We met Atlas, who is our guardian angel and the guy who is guiding us to help him help his family. Um, Andrew Ryan clearly is a this big dog around here, and he's an asshole, clearly. I mean, obviously, there's nothing ulterior going on with anybody here. <laughs> But uh, we'll meet more. Uh, we'll meet our first little sister in the next episode or the episode after that. Uh, and we'll start getting into Rapture as a whole and getting new uh, new abilities, and new guns, and new ways to kill people. But until then, my name is Timpedia, and I'll catch you guys next time.